Hi, Mark here, and welcome back to the Loop Pictures YouTube channel. So today we've got a pretty interesting video for you. It's a video I made back in 2017 at AFTER in second year grading class. We were tasked with making a color grading tutorial where we had to teach three different techniques to achieve three different looks. So I got a pretty good mark for this video and I'm pretty chuffed with it. So I wanted to share with all of you, but I went back and updated the screen recordings to the latest version of DaVinci. I've also left links in the description to the tutorials that I referenced where I picked up a few tips and tricks and implemented them into my own workflow. Now let's get into it. Hey man, did those noir glasses arrive yet? Yep. Hey pal, you wanna know how they got it to look that way? First you gotta start off like you start any color grade, and that's color balancing. Make sure those RGB scopes are even now. And the second essential step to correcting is contrast. On the luminance curve, push up the highlights and bring down the shadows, super contrasty. Then on a new node, go to your RGB mixer. It's right next to your color wheels. Then select monochrome. Next, open up your scopes again. Go to qualifier. Show only your selection with the highlight button. Turn off hue and saturation. Then move the low of the luminance to about 512. Then go to your curves and bump those highlights up and then blur them on the blur tab. This is to give it that steely film look. To finish off, go back to your RGB mixer node and play with those colors to dial in that edgy contrast and then add a vignette to taste. And what about those bleach bypass shades? So while we're here, I should probably tell you how they got that look. First, you gotta start off with your color balancing and your contrast. <laughs> then, the basic concept is that you gotta create a layer node. And on the bottom node, you wanna go to your RGB mixer and turn that to monochrome. <laughs> Then, on the same node, you want to go down to MD or Midtone Detail and bump that way up. Then, and this is the key concept that can be applied to other grading processes, you right click on your layer mixer and select Overlay. This overlays the bottom node over the top. Then you're going to want to create another two nodes in parallel form. On one node, Color pick your skin tones and make them seem more natural by adding back the reds we have in our skin. And on the other, add some slight blue to further the wartime feel if that's your goal. And what about those groovy 80 shades? Far out, man. And I heard how they got it to look that way. Hi, I'm TV's Mark Haynes. And to get the 80s grade, first you gotta color balance and set your contrast. Then on the next node, you're gonna wanna hit, you're gonna wanna hit nodes and then add splitter combiner node. This splits the node up into its red, green, blue, or RGB channels. Then add a Gaussian blur to the blue channel. This and many other effects can be found under Open Effects, Library, Resolve Effects. Then you sharpen the red channel, which is the top node. Next, to further sell the effect, you can download a VHS overlay. In the Media tab, 
you right click on it and add it as a mat. Then in the color tab, you add a layer node. And on the bottom node, you right click on it and add the mat. And then you join the regular link indicated by the green circles on the nodes.